The video is called Find Your True Passion. And the thumbnail is saying quit your job. I just quit my job. And I didn't quit my job because I found a better one or anything. I didn't quit my job because I'm going to be able to sustain myself full time from YouTube or anything. But I quit my job because that career path just isn't for me. True. Now, for those of you who don't know, I was a full time video editor for a YouTube channel. Wow. And I found out that after a year of doing it or realized rather after a year of doing it that this isn't what I want to do with my life. Not in the slightest. I don't want to be a video editor. I don't want to be someone who sits in front of Adobe Premiere or whatever the editing software is for however many hours a day and barely talk to people and barely interact with people. And basically what I'm saying is it just wasn't the right fit for me. And no shade on the guys who I was working for. Uh, I love those guys. They gave me a great opportunity and taught me a lot. And I learned a lot about myself and about working full time. And I'm just very grateful for that experience. And I wish that their channel becomes the biggest channel on YouTube. So if one of y'all are watching this video, thank you. I really appreciate you. But in any case, I quit this job because I didn't want to be a video editor anymore. Yep. Okay. Plain and simple. I just didn't want to do that anymore. It's not right for me. And I'm here to tell you about. But how are you planning to find your passion then? Only by quitting your job or what are your plans? About that. I'm here to tell you about the fact that it's normal for you to want to change career paths. Yes. And it's normal for you to want to stop doing something or quit. When I first started this gig, I thought I was going to be doing it for a couple of years at least. I didn't last a full year. I oh, lasted wow. 11 months. And the way I knew that it was time to quit is that it wasn't exactly that I wasn't happy or anything, right? You don't do a job because you're happy. You do a job because it fulfills you. You can't really keep chasing happiness. I'm starting to learn that now. It's kind of this American dream concept of chasing happiness all the time. You're not going to be happy all the time. True. But you can be fulfilled for most of the time. You can be excited about what you're going to do the next day if you have the right job. And for me, editing wasn't that. I wasn't fulfilled enough by video editing to justify doing it for the next 20 years, you know? Honestly, I was thinking about being a video editor. And I, every time I consider that career path, I'm like wondering, am I going to be able to do it? It's basically just sitting in front of Premiere Pro for eight hours. It sounds super scary and boring. It sounds a little bit like my software development job where I was just sitting in front of a text editor basically for eight hours. And then I became a scrum master. And this was, uh, this is actually a career path that if this shit doesn't work out, I'm willing to go back to I'm not down to sit on a desk for X amount of time. Like I, I feel more productive if I communicate with other people, if I optimize the process, how to make something better in the product, because for example, I really care about the product, but yeah, this is my path. In fact, I was working on this documentary a while back. And we were in this uh, this studio, this post-production studio, which is basically just like a place where they do all the editing, the coloring, they fix a bunch of stuff. And there was this guy, this colorist, who's in charge of color grading the film, right? Yeah. And he was also doing some other like minor tasks of like getting rid of like dead pixels on the screen, which is something that 97% of people will Won't never see. ever see. And that's the most annoying and minute thing that you shouldn't have to care about. And I asked him straight out, doesn't this get ridiculously infuriating having to remove like a singular dead pixel on the screen? And he's like, yeah, it can be tedious sometimes, but you know, I've been doing this for 20 years. I love it. Holy moly. And that's when I. This is actually the same experience I had because I was sharing my experience with my colleagues and some of my colleagues are working as a software developers their whole life. And sometimes I'm, I even asked one of the seniors who was a team lead and after that he was demoted to a developer and I asked him, don't you, don't you like to be a team lead? Don't you like to talk with people, lead the team, uh, make the team reach new heights and stuff like that. He's like, Dude, I just like to sit on my PC and uh, write code. And I'm like, dude, I'm I'm not like that at all. I'm not like that at all. 
the realization started hitting me that I didn't love what I was doing. I somewhat enjoyed it. I liked the result of what I was doing. I liked yeah. the fact that I helped create some pretty good pieces of content and content that was viewed by millions. But it just wasn't what I wanted. Pineapple. It wasn't what I wanted to continue doing. And you will find that in your life too. It doesn't even have to be a job necessarily, but you will find that sometimes what you're doing is not what you want to be doing. It's not what fulfills you. It's not what's right for you. And this is very much tying into the video I made recently about failure and how you need to try things, right? This is kind of the same thing, although it's not a failure. I don't consider what I've done with this group of people a failure by any means. In fact, I consider it a great success because it worked out for a year, you know? I'm going to use the example of SpongeBob. SpongeBob is a fry cook. SpongeBob is a fry cook that gets paid shit money to flip burgers every day of his life. And that's all he does. He goes to work, flips burgers, goes home, talks to his little pet snail. And he loves his life because he loves his job and he couldn't care less what everybody else is doing. And on the other side, you have Squidward. Squidward hates his job. Squidward is miserable every day of his life because of it. Because Squidward's dream is to work in something with status. He wants to be an artist, a famous artist, or he wants to be part of a restaurant that has higher status than the Krusty Krab. He just wants to be someone. And that's what he thinks will fulfill him. Dude, I never thought about SpongeBob that deeply. I never watched the show, I'm gonna be honest with you. Never watched the show, but this is so just hard hitting, like, <laughs> let's start thinking about it. But he can't be fulfilled by this if he stays in the Krusty Krab. He has to change. And of course, this is a cartoon. Squidward is not going to change. Squidward, in fact, will stay in the Krusty Krab. But if you want to be more like SpongeBob and less like Squidward, you have to take the steps that SpongeBob is taking. You have to work a job that fulfills you, that you love, even if it maybe won't give you as much money. You have to choose, am I prioritizing money? Am I prioritizing fulfillment? Am I prioritizing other things in my life? Only you know this answer. And honestly, the best way to find that answer is by doing something that you hate. True. Casey Neistat famously said this, right? He, don't quote me on this, but I think he was cleaning pots at a Red Lobster, absolutely hated it, and realized that he wanted to make YouTube videos or he wanted to make films rather because of the fact that he had time to think about what he wanted to really do and in that same note i had time to think about what i wanted to really do i want to make more content i want to go out and produce a documentary i want to do a bunch of things that became more and more clear to me the more that i was doing a job that i wasn't enjoying as much you shouldn't have to stay in a job that you don't like yep. now i'm fortunate enough to have built a bit of a monetary cushion for myself yeah money is important just saying money is important sometimes the job is gonna give you security but i kind of agree with the guy that if you kind of have the safe net to let you experiment a bit i would do that and i have done that bajillion times in the past uh i have quit my job three times in order to make this work out and uh, i'm not gonna give up uh, this is the reason why i don't want kids uh Still, because uh, I'm not going to give up until this works. And if I have kids, it's just going to be way harder on me. And probably I'm going to burn out and it's going to be really, really hard. So I'm not saying by all means that you should quit your job, regardless of what your monetary capacity is and how your ec economic situation is. You should always consider everything and you should always make sure that you have some place to land if things don't go out your way. Because right now I'm taking a risk, right? I'm taking a risk. I don't have current employment. I didn't find a new job before I gave my two weeks. But I'm okay with that because it works for me in my current situation. And you should also apply this principle to anything else you're quitting, right? If you're quitting college per se, figure out or say have figured out what you're going to do instead. Because you can't just not have a plan in the slightest, right? You can Actually, you need to have a plan. Because yeah. if you don't have a plan, you'll sort of fall into this weird in-between phase where you're like, I'm not doing anything, and I don't feel like doing anything, so I'm just going to do nothing. Yeah. And a lot of people, a lot of people suffer very badly because of that. 
you need to have something not say per se lined up but you need to have a game plan yeah because otherwise you're gonna end up under the bridge you know unfortunately if you don't have a plan if you don't work anything if you don't get money it's just the way it is because otherwise life will gobble you up very quickly for instance my game plan is to go full throttle on youtube right now i want to make more videos for this channel i want to make more content i want to make more interesting content i want to try different things the yaps will stay of course i'm not going to stop doing these because i love this i love talking to you guys about life and all that stuff but i'm going to do some more anyway as i was saying i want to make some more content and a couple of ideas i had are that I'm gonna do a bit of a, it's like J slash inbox series. You know, I'm gonna read questions from the comments and try to give advice the best I can to the best of, to the best of my knowledge. And yeah, that'll be, that'll be another video a week. And I also have a Let's Play cooking. So I have a Let's Play cooking, I have an extra video a week. So that would be two extra videos per week. And I might start live streaming just more casually. Maybe I'll play some Fallout because that's popping right now. And that show is awesome. And I'm gonna see where it takes me. So this dude quit his job, has a plan. He's gonna stick to this plan if it works great if it doesn't work he has an experience as an editor so he might be able to go back and be an editor anyway as i was saying i have a plan and that plan might not be the smartest plan might not be the best plan for me economically but it's a plan to do what i've always dreamt about and with this plan i'm gonna bring monthly memberships as well like the ones on youtube where you can join and i'm not just making it so you guys can give me extra money i'm gonna actually make things available like more content and more things that are exclusive to members right in any case i'm turning it on starting today so if you do choose to join thank you i appreciate you dude what an awesome video it, it is not some crazy editing or something like that but he just talked about life and he talked about some truths and it might not be true for everyone, but it's true for himself, and it was awesome, and it was great. Leave a like to the guy, I don't know, he deserves it, man. Even I mean, he obviously has a lot of subscribers, so, and probably he's doing some sort of income, and I don't know. I hope he makes it. I hope he makes it as well. It was really, it, it was a little bit weird that it was a Minecraft video, but uh, this one was... A video that I wanted to watch for a long time, and uh, I was curious what he has to say. Now back to WoW! 